so uh, what jumps into my head into my eyes better <laughs> in my head as well it's this long line it goes nearly until the end and then the upper part goes goes straight and a little bit mm -hmm. to to uh, the little pinky Merkur in both hands and also the line is straight so it's like a um, two roads who go straight to his hands boof boof so uh, let's go first to this line this is a headline so you do Mr. Brain super brain so uh, think think thinking 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 about ideas ideas planning things uh, and uh, finding solution and um, so uh, uh, that's really important for you that uh, you can learn and study in life so uh, this is a part inside you that you have really um, a lot of question and you try to find the answer so as a child uh, people like that they ask mommy holes in their stomach why is that why is this <laughs> so uh, uh, I hope you still do this so uh, it's very important that you stay curious in life and, uh, and, and work with your mental power and when I see uh, at, so that's also when I look at the end what would you say is the biggest talent so one part is for sure your brain talent that you have and um, and when the upper part at uh, the end of the lines goes a little bit up mm -hmm. call this uh, uh, the fact thinker so uh, uh, this is uh, wanting to see the things how they are so uh, it's like when you would be uh, uh, you call this a judge judge mm -hmm. so and someone could come to you and say um, um, please uh, li uh, don't uh, don't uh, put him don't put my son into prison but you say well here we have all the evidence he is guilty what shall I do and he said well I give you a million then but please then don't uh, but uh, say, say uh, but uh, keep him free so we could give you five ten million this part says he's guilty so that's the fact so uh, I have to follow through and that's an interesting thing because when I look now into your life lesson that's the right middle finger uh, there is a part of you uh, five months prior to birth who wants to figure out where I can break the rules uh, so uh, there is one part inside you I don't want to follow always the rule I want to see uh, where I can steal me a little bit around <laughs> and uh, so that's an interesting thing in the hand there is complete honesty facts and uh, we can trust you 100% but there is another little uh, <laughs> inside of you who uh, who has little voice to say well come on uh, let's do the deal let's do that's a good deal that we could do there and so you will be tested in life um, um, uh, in a way are you following the your integrity or not are you going the honest path or not I don't know which way you could be a completely honest man you never steal one little franc you you always hold your you're uh, saying completely 100% integrity or you you had some occasion where people uh, open you some doors for you that um, are maybe not always legal and did you <laughs> did you went into it or not I don't know so uh, uh, there is a, a part of legal and illegal and um, that's a, a part that uh, the world gonna sometimes trigger you or tease you in life so uh, that's a question about money issue as well so do I want to make fast money or do I want to make in the long term money 
So it's a money issue, it's an integrity issue, it's a law issue. And, um, and to be conscious about the consequence. So the headline is always conscious about the consequence. He thinks forward, he looks, he tries to see the, yeah, in the, into the future and tries to avoid any mistakes. And um, so in one hand, you could also be too strict and to try to, to, to go into your life too much straight and to avoid and to be thinking too much of the consequences that could happen and then you warn people well be careful this and this could happen and this and this could happen we we have to be cautious uh, with this decision or you can be sometimes completely unconscious and I don't care about the consequences let's just do the decision and then we lose uh, and we lose uh, one million <laughs> and uh, everything goes down and uh, here we go and then uh, so this is could be a kind of a, a little game uh, in your life and uh, <laughs> so uh, that's also part to be yeah to be conscious when I see a kind of a, uh, what is the biggest hurdle of what situation to avoid is um, the the consciousness of consequence, legal, illegal, integrity issue, and uh, you could be on both sides. So uh, I don't know where you go, uh, and uh, it's just an issue to be conscious about it. And uh, when I continue to look into your fingerprints, there I see a uh, um, um, a pattern and energy that turns all about love. So from the soul imprint, when I look into your hands, you came on this planet to learn about love. So it's all about relationship in your life. And uh, there you have a side inside you that you could be sometimes completely naive and uh, you believe the woman and she tells you I love you uh, but maybe she wants only the money from you so uh, uh, it's an interesting thing um, when you connect with a woman how blind can you be there or how awake can you be there so from a soul level you want always to be in a, in a, in a kind of symbiote people could see you as a yeah, correct guy, um, in the mind, acting nice, but um, I don't know if they really can see the the softness of you. And, uh, and so if I want to go to the conscious, how would people describe you as an emotion in a relationship? You have also two sides. One is the loyal, uh, private, in control one, and on the left hand, I see the one who is really considerate, polite, fair, harmony, harmony seeking. Even, even sh yeah, uh, now the word is not there, but I would say a shy way. So uh, there is a part of you think, think, think about uh, shall I um, ask her or shall I not ask her. So you need a really precise, exact observer you have also really precision oriented quality inside you so in one way yeah there's a lot of harmony seeking inside you and to have a deep nice conversation and uh, you're very eloquent uh, we can talk with you about millions of things so we w a woman would be never boring with you on a table you have a lot to tell her and you listen to her and um, uh, the question, how can she come into your heart? She feels that there is a soft side behind your strong mind and controlled side of you. But how can she get there? That's a, that's a question that ra the hand raises up for me. So, uh, uh, a considerate, tender, nice side of you who has a who has a 
this immense strong brain power and uh, what is your biggest dilemma yeah one part is for sure the feeling one and the head one so everybody has a thinking and a feeling part but for you it's really strong part is uh, to really trust and go with the feeling because you just feel like it and it's a good decision I don't know why I just have to go but the brain says well did you consider it but you know but 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 so there's the but but issue from uh, the head who wants to um, to look that you don't have any heart issue that nobody hurts you so that's uh, a dilemma that I see inside you is of uh, control and letting go uh, in the feeling part that's actually one of the strongest uh, issue where I see in, in the hand uh, of, of a dilemma Then another that jumps into my eyes. Yeah. Um, the what else? Life what is purpose. life purpose? The strongest uh, the life purpose is uh, we call this the artist. So uh, how can I live a life that is based on pleasure, that is based on, on doing things without compromising uh, yourself, like if you want to if you want to do it blue then do it blue, even everybody wants to have it red so it's to to, to live a life where you can um, express your personality and uh, and show yourself out in the public in a way that you can be really honest and authentic. So your life purpose is being emotional, authentic out into the world. And that's the actually yeah, another dilemma actually. Uh, life purpose is being seen outside. Can you also show the feeling part because there you want to go inside and on the life purpose you want to go outside so there is an outside and is inside issue and in the best way you can be vulnerable out in the world and uh, being seen for that and to be there is the track of being conscious about integrity issue about the legal illegal issue money issue about uh, um, issue of consequences uh, too much be conscious about consequences or not to be conscious about it I play my own rules so this is the the key of uh, having this in a good balance and and um, and having a happy love life actually that's would make you the most happy in life uh, you being you and having a good relationship. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, great. Now, um, I, I'd like to push a little bit. Uh, just I, I was kind of imagining this, uh, uh, hearing both of them. You both, you've described him having this outward, inward thing, and and uh, him having an outward, inward thing. How did you distinguish the two so they don't think that you're just mm -hmm. saying the same thing twice? Here. Yeah this line here mm -hmm. this is in a way on a personal level the same issue like all these loops up here in the fingerprints mm -hmm. so this is all about feeling in the soul level on a personal level it's here all about feeling mm -hmm. so what's the difference between what he's got and what he has uh, from what's the difference is this the same energy is here in the fingerprints and him is in the personal level so uh, it's both boundaries issues so it's actually the both the dynamic is the same the dynamic is, is the, exactly the, 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 same. the dynamic is the same
Mm -hmm. uh, it's just it shows me dynamic on a different place, mm. but the dynamic is the same. And this is in the what he has less uh, in the left hand. This this person um, in comparing to this person, he is more in the brain energy, mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm. and um, and a little bit more uh, well he has also they actually they more or less the same but the same thing shows on different parts mm -hmm. so the control part is for me a strong in the hand and the straightness here the perfect thing mm -hmm. he has it in the headline in the straightness mm -hmm. Where he tries everything to be perfect, mm -hmm. and uh, this line here. So it, this is also the, to be straight, to be in control, and mm -hmm. to test people first, to to check them, mm -hmm. ask many questions. And uh, but him, I would uh, put him more in, no, even more in a brain power. Mm -hmm. He's more the one who who put action. He's more the doer mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. True, he. He puts more the things in in, in the result part, and uh, but he has also a, a big strength. He has also good thumb, so uh, they actually push each other in a very ni a very nice way. Okay, so how how do you think they uh, they work together? Who who takes the lead and who is the um, uh, and and where do they who? Imagine who one takes the lead, uh, or they both take the lead in one area, and another takes the lead in the other area. Where would they take? I think both uh, have a, a strong leading uh, part. Uh, I think he would be more uh, better for the for the interaction with the people, in the way uh, of uh, planning things, making. Uh, uh, yeah, the planning for part, the thinking part, and the the interaction uh, to with maybe the people, the conversation with the people. What kind of conversation? Well, uh, just uh, maybe what the people need, and uh, he tries to find out uh, what uh, what the people will ask them, and so he takes them all in. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the information, gathering information, gather information, mm -hmm. and feel the people. So he's good in connecting with that for mm -hmm. me. And um, and for me, he's more than yeah putting things into the action. He wanna be more connected with the with the pro proceeding and the process of doing the thing. For me, him. Even he has a nice hardline who has also a way to connect with people, he's good in that as well. But for me, he's no even no more the, the worker. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what do you think hand. he would criticize him for? And what would he criticize him for? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm getting into a dangerous territory, but let's play a game. Well, he would criticize him, maybe hmm. what shall I say? To because he's uh, he's also much in details and he as well. So I wanted to say about details and. and uh, I don't know. I don't know what shall I say. Because they're so... I work with strong similar. Well, take the, take the, um, the, the life purpose or the life lesson or any of those things, I suppose you could... Well, maybe what he says to him, um, don't bring more and more work with with in 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 the uh, like uh, we have enough to do but he said well but still come this week still can do no this job who says that he says he says to him don't he says to him just make sure i get the camera angle right so, so uh, he, he says th to him uh, don't 
bring more and more work within and say yes to, to this uh, order, uh, we can't pursue everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we have already for other jobs that we have to finish. <laughs> and, uh, and now you say yes to a, a job number five. Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, but, but we have to. And, uh, and uh, I just couldn't say no. And uh, we can do this. Come on, no problem, no problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Take it easy. And he, and, um, he says then to him, uh, uh, yeah, look, come on. Uh, you, you say yes to this and uh, keep on going. Mm -hmm. Like this. So I think he complains more to him. He complains more to him. Yeah. Okay. I would say. Okay. And uh, but w w what do they rely on each other for? Um, both wants to be perfect in what they are doing. They have a high, high uh, sense of doing things good. Mm -hmm. And uh, and being creative. Mm -hmm. In, in their in their approach, what they are doing. Yeah. They are both good workers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. good, both good workers. Keep on going and take a uh, responsibility. Only him. Yeah, I don't know which one, in, on which side he is. So I don't know if he's going. Uh, sometimes uh, that he uh, forget. To uh, to close the door or whatever, or just to to make some little mistakes. Mm. But he tries always to make perfect. Mm -hmm. But there is the part of the right side, and I say that sometimes uh, can uh, uh, how do you say that? I don't want to say forget details because this letter long headline looks for all details but uh, some of this can be too much okay and who do you see uh, managing a team of a hundred people I think both are capable to do this but uh, at the end, I and they're go getting it, and they're getting it done. But at the end, I would go more for him. But he mm -hmm. has a strong thumb, big angle. He has his strength too, but he has. I would go more for him. For the left hand. And how would he manage people compared to how they? How would he? You know, he had because of the donna, and he has the also the light. He had they both have a side in themselves where they don't go over people in a nasty way. Mm -hmm. So both people have a people respect side. Mm -hmm. So uh, I see both have a, have a, have a nice way to to go to connect with people. So I see many same things but on a different part in the hand. Mm -hmm. So I think both have, uh, have people skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wouldn't say uh, that one or the other hasn't. Uh, when, when, he, when this guy doesn't access the, the part of his, uh, of his soul, side that is really sensitive or feeling part, he can be sometimes a little bit more distant and colder, mm -hmm. this one, mm -hmm. when you don't access it. Mm -hmm. He can be sometimes more... And what is he like on a hard day? Yeah, and he's, he's keep on going on a hard day, he's, he's not complaining, he's doing his work and uh, we have just to do it, and even if it takes until two or three o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. he keeps on going and going and going. Mm -hmm. Has a lot of uh, energy, but he as well. So they were pretty good together. I think n not there is not that he 
he is, uh, according to him, uh, less. Mm -hmm. So I think they they're both equal, both have the strength. It's not that one has to pull the other. Mm -hmm. So both have their own responsibility and have own uh, uh, quality that they can just... I think they work perfectly together. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is no not that one uh, um, sabotage the other yeah. in a way that uh, they think, well, we can't work together. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, they have a good way to get along. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, should I re reveal who it is now? Or do you have any ideas, any further thoughts of guess of what they might be doing? Mm -hmm. It's always worth a, a random thing. Mm, it can be, I don't know, inadvertent something that uh, they do some, uh, like, uh, yeah, when we are here, they do some layouts, whatever, do some, that they have an own company for uh, the logos and whatever, things like this, because of the precision part. Or there can be also an architect couple that do architect things. So, uh, this stuff, maybe, I don't know. Okay. It's difficult. Uh, okay, perfect. So, um, shall we reveal who it is? Yeah. Very good. Let's look it up. I'll show it to you in one big go. Wow, we just found how to get a Solar Plus <laughs> a heating system installed. <laughs> Hold on, we'll get there in a second. Plus.ch. We have Bertrand Picard, mm -hmm. uh, and he is. Uh, you are right. He uh, has a, has this dilemma that he just talked about of going inside and outside. Mm -hmm. So that's been a, quite a challenge his whole life. Mm -hmm. He's been a psychotherapist, a hypnotherapist, mm -hmm. hence the Persephone headline. No, that's not the Persephone. That one? That one a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, he's, uh, uh, his biggest dilemma is, can he, um, c can he go through, uh, ex explore the inner world without missing the outer world? Mm -hmm. and, and explore the outer world without missing, and feeling like he's losing time exploring the inner world. Mm -hmm. And he spent, you know, he's built up his whole practice quite successfully mm -hmm. in both areas. Mm -hmm. And the dedication part where he has put the service that he needs someone that he can live his life for something, in mm -hmm. service for something. And he, they, together they're working on, oh, shit. I'm just running that space. Okay, hold on. Good, it's still recording. Are you still recording? Good. All right, very good. And um, the second uh, is that uh, they're both pilots. So they're both working on the uh, uh, round the world trip. Uh, Andre is uh, the co pilot. And he's also managing a team of about 100 guys. Mm -hmm. And he is running the show. Of, of trying to get it all done. So that the story that you talked about I thought was really funny is that the, the one thing that they, they love each other mm -hmm. and they're extremely good team workers mm -hmm. and they are perfect together. They both said that they, they, uh, they push each other mm -hmm. but it's, they both have high, high standards for perfection mm -hmm. and they want to go around the world in this, mm -hmm. in this plane that uh, is running only on solar energy including getting enough energy to run through the night. 
And so it means a lot of experimentation, a lot of work um, going, uh, moving through the, um, uh, uh, moving, work, working late nights mm -hmm. uh, until the job is done. Um, he is the uh, oversees the plans and that working uh, with uh, the team. He believes in having a constant harmony mm -hmm. with the team mm -hmm. in order to get. Uh, and both of them are charismatic. He's very charismatic. Mm -hmm. And but I got such a good feeling working a kindness mm -hmm. uh, working with both uh, both of those in the interview. And um, that's, that's why both have the heart, the softness. Mm -hmm. He in the dawn and he feeds in the soul. Mm -hmm. And they're charmers, both mm -hmm. of them. You get credibility, mm -hmm. and Betrant's totally a charmer. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you just you can see why he gets on stage and does his TED talks, and mm -hmm. and is ra able to raise the uh, or help raise and be the front man to tell the mm -hmm. story and capture the mm -hmm. dream of renewable resources for mm -hmm. everyone to send a message to the world mm -hmm. that everyone should be using solar energy and get on twenty percent of the power that they're using. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, but they're both pilots. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is they, you know, they know Claude Nicolier, mm -hmm. General Kekais was his pilot, mm -hmm. okay. or instructor. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, it's fascinating to see, to see that this is actually the people who are mm -hmm. making a big impact in Switzerland are actually uh, friends. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And um, uh, Bertrand's question. Uh, if uh, forgive me for trying, if I don't remember it exactly, but it's um, how should he? Con is this the right thing for him to do? As you mentioned, he is working on five projects and trying to bring in the sixth project, and he's saying, "No, no, we have this project. It's enough." So, but his question is, I mean, he's always looking at whether he has the right project and what would be the the next right project for him, uh, and uh, you know what what after. After they finished flying around the world, what's what's the next project for him? Is is it? Well, that's the for him. Uh, I can answer this this question uh, with uh, the story of Siddhartha from Hermann Hesse, and uh, he is a uh, um, in one way from the soul level a lonely. Uh, wanderer, how we say, uh, how we call the the guy who, who has the backpack mm -hmm. and uh, uh, pilg pilgrim, pilgrim. Yeah, he's a lonely pilgrim in one way. And uh, so uh, uh, when uh, Siddhartha was uh, I make the circle, he was a Brahman and said, okay. Um, no, I don't want to be a Brahman, I, I continue and start to meditate. And then he meditate four or five years, become a master of meditation. And then after four or five years, no, it's not meditation. And then he, he went, uh, he went to, uh, he was an asket, then he went, he saw Buddha, he was with Buddha. Uh, but all these was not really his core inside. And then he's, he went as a businessman, then he had women, and all these never satisfied, but he always needed to left to leave a circle. And always uh, in between a circle it was emptiness. And these people need in their life always to leave circles and go into emptiness and to, f to get in another circle. Until they come down to a point, and in the end Siddhartha uh, ends up by a ferryman and the ferryman was the whole life just a ferryman and uh, he was learning with the river and uh, and he, he saw that actually the ferryman is the most uh, honest and wisest person he ever saw and he was learning from him and the ferryman died and uh, Siddhartha became a ferryman and he just brought the people from one river to the other river and uh, and this was his most happy way to be on this planet. So uh, his thing is to be a pilgrim and to end one day, I don't know if he will be there or not, but to end one day into the middle and to be there, the ferryman, and to end up. So um, that's a part of his life purpose, to not to seek in a conscious way, 
to keep on going on going until he comes up into this middle. It's like Moses when he's in the desert, he he pilgers 30 years and until God tips him on the shoulder and says, here I am and I give you the information uh, or the, what's going on with you in your life. And so he has to keep on going until someone tips him on the shoulder and says, look, that is it. But until there, he would have constantly a driving force in him, with him to keep on going and looking for the next circle, the next circle, the next circle. So there is not such a right thing for him. This right thing comes by by tasting all these different things that comes in his life. But into his soul he's, he's searching and uh, it's, like a, it's like a hunger to come at this point where he can say, yes, now that is it. Mm -hmm. That's why this question comes up, what is it at the end? And, uh, and the thing is, there is really the sentence, the path is your goal. We, call, we say it like this, the Ziel is, der Weg is the Ziel. Uh, yeah, the path is, is your goal. So, and uh, to be where he is, to, f to put all the energy 100% in it, do it. And uh, when it's finished, there is no energy in it, like the glass has no water, go back to emptiness, look what is coming and take the next thing. And that's a way that he has, uh, that life is with him in his life. Five months period of birth and I look into the fingerprints. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, he f not to feel guilty, well actually he will feel guilty when he becomes the pilgrim and he goes alone for his way. But he has also responsibility with the donor who wants to be connected with, um, with family life. So that's a, a challenge for him to be the pilgrim, just him alone and God. So he's looking for God in, in the connection where Siddhartha had at the end. So I would recommend him to read the book Hermann Hesse Siddhartha. And there he would have the essence of his soul in print. Mm. That's a, the story is the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I would answer in this way. So uh, that that's why he's in calm in the soul level to keep on going, going, going. And uh, I'll make up a question for Andre. He didn't give me one that uh, I recall, but he was just happy with the interview. Um, uh, but uh, Andre would, uh, I'm sure, would like to know how can he be um, uh, inspire the team more to meet the project and see uh, due to. Um, go around 2014 mm -hmm. and uh, so how what is it that what's the best energy that they can employ with each other and and with uh, for himself to um, get there without burning out or to, to, to realize the dream of um, of, uh, of going around the world still don't understand exactly your question What's so the, for him. Yeah. You asked now a question for both or for, for him? For him, for him, so for Andre. You, okay. what, what's the be, uh, what is the best way or what way do you recommend is the energy he needs to fulfill the dream to go around the world? What I recommend him? Yeah. He, he comes to you and says, listen, we, I need to get this plane around the world in 2014. What would you advise me? What do I need to, to make sure that I need to be careful of uh, so that I stay on track? Um, do not fall in love with the wrong woman. <laughs> <laughs> that could break his heart. <laughs> so. <laughs> Be conscious about your love life. Uh, and, uh, that, that went over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, love could break his heart. And uh, so, uh, how you connect with, with other people in intimacy in a way that you still keep on going your track. Mm -hmm. So, it's about dependent and independency. And uh, because, yeah, the harmony level try to make perfect for everybody. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, to have a right portion of egoist, egoistic skills mm -hmm. for him and not to please everybody. Yeah. Not to please everybody. Yeah. Please in a way, uh, and it's another pleasing as, uh, as this hand. This is more, I don't want to hurt anybody mm -hmm. here. So uh, the challenge to, um, yeah, the main thing is really uh, how his relationship looks like. Mm -hmm. And when he's not in a relationship, actually this, this would give him energy if he would be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. That leaves him in a way uh, free. So to have connection without being attached. Yeah, I think he is married. So, um, so, so the thing is, the better the relationship, the better Solar Plus will fly around yeah, the world. Actually, actually, it's a paradox, but yes, the happier he is in his heart, and for him to really trust his feeling and not too much to trust the his supercomputer of the brain. Mm -hmm. So uh, to not to question because he's the hand who he questioning too much things. Mm. So not to question too much, going into sorrow land, and be worry about sorrow land. Yeah, okay. uh, what what could happen and everything. Mm -hmm. Pessimistic. Yeah. Yeah, and this and this because he could make out of a little thing a big elephant. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, use his super brain power for what he is asking for, and the other thing just enjoy uh, relationship, love, life, relax, go into your heart. And uh, and, um, uh, and try not to think too much then about mm -hmm. future and everything. Mm -hmm. Be in the present and follow your intuition. That could be all that is actually really strong mm -hmm. in this that, way. That was such a good question. Do you think we can close this interview by you answering the same thing for him? What? That uh, for his worry for what, what's what's his uh, what's your advice to make sure that he flies around the world? Um, Bertrand, now. Well, to not to take at the same time a project number three, four, five in it. <laughs> <laughs> so finish first this one, <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, and make it good, and make it good, and uh, keep your energy for that. Focus on that, and uh, because for me he's a little bit, he needs a little bit vacation, mm -hmm. for me. So uh, to admit also, a pause can bring you also that he's not the third, like the the, the, the turtle and the rabbit, mm -hmm. that he not become the rabbit. He can become the turtle as well, mm -hmm. the energy and. Take sometimes a break. Enjoy. So is Andre the turtle? No, uh, like him, because he wants to make the four or five yeah. projects. Yeah, he's and the rabbit. Yeah. And Dad, let's do this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, that's clear. He, so he's the rabbit. He's yeah. more the rabbit. Yeah. And but is he then the turtle? No, I don't want to use now this analogy. I'm not <laughs> That's for him. I'm, uh, I'm getting everybody in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so My way. That's for that's for him in a way. <laughs> not to mix too many things. So okay, cool. Can he be sometimes a little bit turtle, and in this way he can be actually faster, and things happen in a way that that just happen. Okay. Yeah. This way I would answer. All right, well, I'm, I'm sure they're both going to be uh, grateful and amused and uh, floored, so. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, great. Great. Yay. Good one.